Hi YouTubers, and it's Numistaka here, and it's uh, another sunny morning in South Florida, and this time continuing the Libertad unwrapping ceremony. And these particular Libertads have come from Germany to America because um, the guy who sells them on eBay um, in Germany had priced them without VAT. And even though, of course, the UK is a little bit nearer than America, he wouldn't send them to me over in the UK um, because of the pricing. Um, he would only send them to America. So uh, luckily I was able to take advantage of that and have them waiting for me. But the, these were bought maybe two and a half months ago, two months ago, when the Proof Libertads suddenly became on sale in masses. And um, I got these at a good price because I was quick to press the button on an eBay auction before they went up. So I think this was from the second lot he was selling. So I think I paid a dollar more than the first lot. And I remember every time he put more on sale, the price kept going up by another few dollars until it eventually went up to about 50% more than I paid, which it stayed at the moment. So I'm kind of happy that I got there quickly. Um, as you probably know from looking at the Libertad Mintage videos and, and reading some stuff, um, the 2015 proof silver coins were probably pretty much doubled the 2014 vintages. Still historically pretty low, and certainly they're worth collecting, but there's, there isn't the mad panic to buy them that there was for 2014, when the mintages were much, um, much smaller. And there's a little bit of stuff on the web, if you look for it, about you know whether the dealers, um, both in America and in Germany, kind of knew that the mintages were going to be higher and created a kind of artificial uh, shortage at the beginning when they first started to be on sale. <coughs> Pardon me. And, uh, and there's a case for thinking that might be the case. You know, I mean, two ounce was 750 last year, 1300. The five ounce was 800 last year, 1600 this year. You know, and they did give the impression that these coins would have a very restricted mintage uh, this year. Uh, as well, and um, although, as I say, it was pretty restricted, it wasn't quite as good as it was the previous year. But I was able to pick up a couple of the five ounce, <clears throat> and then also some one ounce. And uh, I got these one ounce ones at a good price. Very pleased with these. They've actually got a slightly frosted um, cameo on them this year. Um, I think all of them are pretty much the same, but um, the proofs are pressed a little bit, minted a little bit differently to the previous year and uh, I think the quality is actually really really high in terms of the Mexican mint this year. They all look absolutely perfect. I haven't decided yet whether I'll keep them like this or maybe send them for grading. Um, I'm tempted to send them for grading because they look absolutely perfect to me and there seems to be a good chance of them getting 70s or getting some of them getting 70s anyway. Uh, so that's something that I'll probably make up my mind with over Christmas and the new year. But they are lovely. <clears throat> I think the guy had 10 on sale at one time in the second lot he put up for sale. And I think I bought five of them within literally 10 seconds, made a decision uh, that I was going to buy another five, but 10 seconds later they were all gone. <clears throat> So five of the one ounce and two of the five ounce and then there's one more packet to unwrap from uh, my dear friend over in Germany. So let's see what's in the final packet. So uh, this was the other lot that he had on sale. He basically had the one ounce, the five ounce and yep, the missing one is of course the two ounce. Um, the two ounces have proved to be actually the kind of key coin in the set in many ways. The mintages are lower for the two ounce than the five ounce. So there are 1,300 of the two ounce this year, of which 250 were in the seven coin set. So there's quite a few of these two ounce coins. But then again, from what I can see, 
uh, reading up on, on liver tags, the market has actually started to take off on these coins and the numbers of people collecting them um, has risen hugely since uh, 2013, um, maybe as a result of the shortages last year, but it's quite nice that a few more people will be able to collect one or two of these coins. Uh, I think I've got five of them so far. I've got one in the 2014 seven coins, 2015 seven coin set. Then I got um, a couple from Mexican coin broker on the pre-order, and then I've got a couple more from Germany. So there are five that I've got at the moment. So I've got a few of these proofs. Um, they, I think they're one of the most beautiful coins in the world. Uh, the this one and also the gold proof as well. There is something very special about the design which is absolutely beautiful. The production is first class and uh, they're just a very very good all round coin. I think of the there are three silver coins that are on my favourites list. The Proof Libertad, the BU and to some extent the Proof Luna 2s and also the Panda. But uh, those three I think are the key choices in silver for this year.